Blessings, everyone. Here's an, another devotional message by Dr. David Jeremiah titled, Oh, That Grinch. Beginning scripture comes from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 through 9. A heavenly inheritance. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant, abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that does not fade away, reserved in heaven for you, uh, who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith being much more precious than gold uh, that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ, whom, having not seen, you love. Though now you do not see him, yet believing, you rejoice with inexpressible and full of glory. I mean... Let me back up some. It says, Though you do not see him, yet believing, you rejoice with joy inexpressible and, and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, the salvation of your souls. When Jim Carrey was playing the Grinch in the movie, the movie version of the story, uh, he nearly lost his mind. The first day it took more than eight hours to put on his makeup, and he felt so uncomfortable in the costume he could hardly function. The producer called called in a CIA officer who specialized in helping U.S. agents withstand torture. Hmm. The CIA specialist spent a weekend helping Carrie learn to handle his discomfort. Here on Earth, we're often loaded with problems pains, discomforts, and worries that wrap themselves around us like a costume, like uh, uh, Jim Carrey's uh, Grinch costume. Wow. We feel the weight of it, but we have a divine specialist who uses his textbook to show us how to manage the problems and still function with joy and peace. We have the power of God within us. And the hope of heaven before us. We all face troubles and trials, but when we focus on God and His character, we find joy and peace in the midst of them. And in conclusion, by Charles Spurgeon, it says right here Jesus whispers consolation. I cannot refuse it. I will sit under His shadow with great delight. So, as you see, this is a devotional message having to do with uh, with trial and tribulation. Uh, to, um, uh, to handle it. And just trust in God and have the faith of the mustard seed to move Mount Everest into the ocean. 